going to look at set notation. So set notation can also be referred to as the features of the set. So a set is generally represented with a capital letter. And it is represented with curly brackets. We have what we call elements of the set of members of the sets. We have number of elements and we have what we also refer to as cardinality. So let's take them one by one. set is represented by a capital letter. What we mean is that a set can be represented by any capital letter. So for example, we can have A, Q, B, Z. All these are capital letters and we can use them to represent the sets. So for example, we can have a set A, which is made up of alpha, beta, and gamma. This is a set and it is represented by a capital letter. The next thing we talked about is a set is represented by curly brackets. So as we can clearly see from this example, we have the set enclosed in curly brackets. So these are what we refer to as curly brackets. The third thing is the elements. So if you look at set A, the elements of the set are alpha, beta, and then gamma. So the elements, the elements of this set are alpha, beta, and gamma. number of elements. The number of elements is also represented as n closed brackets. So what it means is that if you are talking about set A, then the set the A will be here. So this means that number of set, number of elements in set A. So in this example, the number of elements refers to the total number of elements in the set, which, which will be represented by N closed brackets A. So the number of elements in the set A will be equal to 3. If the set were to be set B, which contains the same elements, then instead of writing n close bracket a we would have written n close bracket b equal to three so i believe you get the scenario so let's look at the fourth item the fifth item that is cardinality so when we talk of cardinality cardinality is the same as the number of elements of a set and then cardinality is represented by a double bar so cardinality and number of elements is the same so from this set we can say that the cardinality of set a is equal to the number of elements in set a which is equal to 3 because cardinality and number of elements is the same. I hope you get it.